Here's your change. Grazie. And this is for Miss Number 24, my sunny birthday. And number 9, the Cardinalis. Them is my lucky numbers. That's a nickel ticket, lady. Grazie. How much does it pay off this week? 300 bucks, the lucky winner. Same every week. Mamma mia, forse la bella fortuna mia. Grazie, grazie. Next. Carlo, I gotta get the money. Just give it. I don't want you going around with him, huh? Non ce l'hai Pietro, non qua. Così. Be right back. Paolo! Ma did you hear what I said? I don't want you going with that no good Carlo, huh? Don't worry about it, Ma. Relax. I'm gonna be right back, all right? Relax. Oh, we got the work to do. Paolo! <laughs> Put the coin on the floor with the rest of the bags. Nice suit. Want a little face, boy. The world, it ain't right. Front door people who got dough, they smile and they walk out with the turkeys and the hams. But out back in the alley, people with nothing, they're lining up like sheep. Sheep is right. There's two kind of people in this world, cousin. Then they take, and then they want makes you wonder about God. Get smart, kid. I'll introduce you to Vito Genovese. You're on wheels. A new suit every day of the week. Yeah. I'm ready for some action. If you mean that, you get started right now. Any damn thing. I don't care no more. Okay, now listen up good. Then them Dinos are trying to move into our neighborhood. They ain't kicking back. Need a couple more guys to teach them zips some respect. Got you on that. What's their story? Vanilla Dilla Croce is a tough guy. Joey Ramon's got to prove he's got it all figured out. <laughs> hey, Nelio, Joey, get over here. There's my cousin, Carlo Gambino. You got a job for Vito. <laughs> Vito Genovese? Who we got to kill? You? What are you, a tough guy? Carlo, please. He's only kidding. Please. And cut the crap. We got work to do. I'm gonna give you a shot. Show some balls. Maybe I'll introduce you to Vito. Let's go. Case of booze they deliver. Nice cover, huh? Okay. Let's see you could do some damage. No. Wait. Let's split up. We take out those guys by the alley first, then we're even odds. I like the way you think, kid. They pull heaters on us, go for the legs first, not the heads. And we get a piece of something, even if you miss. And they go down, then swing for the heads. Come on, you.
at the truck. Who can drive? Me, I can drive. Let's go. Come on. Just the booze. Dump them trees. Why waste them? A lot of poor kids got nothing. They never had a tree. What, am I Santa Claus? Just trust me. Come on. All right, get the truck. Thank you. God bless you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Vito Genovese. Have a very Merry Christmas. From Vito Genovese. Very Merry Christmas. Pine trees. My legs kill him. The bastards. Very piney Christmas to you all. Piney. Hey. That's you from now on. Hey, Carlo. Come here. Mr. Genovese. Who we got here? This is my crew. Cousin Paulie Castellano, Neil, and Piney. Word is a bunch of kids took off the Nardinos over on Mott Street. Then they're giving out free trees. Carlo, whose idea was all this? Paulie, it was his bright idea. Castellano, the butcher's kid, get away. Paulie, huh? I like it. Make people happy. Don't cost nothing. That's good for business. Hey, look at me. You got Costanza's kid. Well, <laughs> Carlo, Neil, and Piney, they help too. Good. Here. Hand out a couple bucks for the trees. People can't eat no pine cones, right? You keep thinking, Paulie. I remember your name. Hey. Come here, you. Here, next time you see. Put them away, guys. Finally. Whoa. Don't stop, Mr. Jennings. Don't mention it. Go. Think Paul the Thinker. You and me, we're gonna go a long way together. Right to the top. Nice up here. Yeah, it is. You see them skyscrapers? That's where the power lives. Guy with the gold, he makes the rules. The guy with the gun, he gets the gold. <laughs> that sounds like your cousin Carlo talking, not you. Well, he's right, Nina. There are two kinds of people in this world. There are those who take, and there are those who want. Well, I don't want a little butcher shop. Bunch of kids crammed into some fourth floor walk up. No, that's not for me. That's not for you. I want you in a big house. I want you riding a nice luxury car. Got kids in the best schools. And you know you want it. As much as I do, I could see it in your eyes. I want that life that you're talking about. I do. I. I'm just afraid of what might happen to you. Well, don't be. Don't be. I can handle it. And we can have it all, Nina. Just you and me. I don't know. Yes, you do. You know, Nina. You know. All you gotta do is say you're with me. Promise me one thing. Anything. Promise me. You keep our children clean. Never involve them in that filthy business. That I promise. Okay. That I vow. isn't just sick. He's dying. Heart and liver both. Well, he's 76. Son of a bitch. He's gonna die peacefully in his bed. 
a millionaire. Only question now is who's going to be the next godfather. Della Croce. He's got all the muscle, the toughest crew. Gotti and the rest of those animals. Well, Castellano has his tough guys too, but more, way more. He's the brain. He knows how to hide the money. Gambino always listened to him. What about Pane Armo? He's one of the originals too. Gambino's consigliere, but he's a follower, not a player. Now, oh, come on, Castellano? I mean, the guy's too cerebral. You know what they say about him. You want to find Big Pauly, don't look in a social club, look in the banks. They're right. Look at this. Garment industry. Concrete. Paving. Wholesale meat. Garbage. Porn. Gambling. Prostitution. Lines of Gambino influence that run through all the unions. Big Paul, he set it up. The guy could have been CEO of a corporation. Exactly. When Gambino dies, he'll name Big Paul. Neil Della Croce and Piney will back Castellano. I agree. And Della Croce and Castellano are like brothers from way back. It's gonna be Big Paul. You follow the money trail just as far as you can. Goes up to compo level usually, then nothing. That's this guy's genius. I don't care how insulated he is. You get me evidence the street crews are connected to him, we'll get warrants to bug the capos all the way up the ladder. And sooner or later, we'll bug Mr. Castellano himself. I want Big Paulie behind bars. I love it up here. If I had to do this for a living, I'd starve. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad it ain't me. I'd rather be a second story man. You guys miss all the beauty up here. Up here, you forget about the porn houses, the hookers, the shocking, all the filth down there in the street. Right, Tommy? Business is business. That filth you're talking, Paul, is what's fed us all our lives. Bunny, when your grandkids sit on your lap and they say, Grandpa, how'd you get this beautiful house, those nice cars, what do you say? I'm a pimp, I'm a hijacker, a smuggler, what? You know the answer, I lie. I kept my kids out of the business just like you did. Amen to that. <laughs> Hey, welcome to the 14th floor. Hello, Jimmy. I hear we have a problem. Yeah. Now we got the union to vote you in. Suddenly you don't want to pay to stand it, too. No, let him speak, Tommy. Well, now I've been thinking. Without me, nothing gets to the site, right? No concrete, no I beams, no sky crane crew. Mr. Gambino, he knows I wrap things up tight. Do I not? Mr. Gambino isn't your problem, my friend. I am. You guys bid all the jobs, and I make sure the guys are there when you say. And if the bid ain't right, I make sure they don't show. So I don't see how out of my ass I got to pay the same two points as the other dumb schmucks in the rest of the unions. It's unwise, my friend. That's all right, Piney. I like a man who says right out where he stands. Because I'm going to tell you where I stand. We voted you in. You knew the deal. And now you don't want to pay? Do you like soup, Malone? What? Soup, you know. Do you like soup? Yeah, I like it. What's that got to do with this? Good. I'm glad you like it. Because if the Tommy here gets through with breaking your jaw, it's going to have to be wired. And the only thing you're going to be able to eat is soup through a straw. So now, you tell me, do you like soup that much not to pay me my two points? Hey, I thought we could work things out. Things happen. It was my mistake. Deals a deal. We were we strained it out. You know, talking about food, I got hungry all of a sudden. Come on, let's do this open. <laughs> oh, dude, look at that. That's attractive. Give me a break. Look, they're sitting there eating steaks like medieval warlords, and we're out here getting indigestion. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I love this car. Hmm. Yeah, I got an idea. No, we do. Bug, Bug the, the place. place. Establish probable cause. Go we'll get a warrant. Then we got to find a way in. I'm telling you, just keep turning up the heat. Sooner or later, 
One of them's gonna panic. What the hell is this? Watch what. It's a gadget. Hello. Hey, easy with the guns, guys. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Fresh espresso and homemade cannolis, compliments of Mr. Castellano. Here. Enjoy. And just leave the tray at the gate, huh? See what I mean? They're definitely panicking. The face of fear. Mm, Nina, always the best. Still think I need a maid? What made you cook like this, huh? Well, at least help you clean up. Come on, the way you slave. Forget about it. Look, um, Connie's still not here. Should we start dinner without her? Without my only daughter? Come on, a Sunday night. Must be that thug husband of hers. He's one of yours. Nina, don't start, all right? I had nothing to do with her meeting him. The boys are here. They want to talk. You be firm with them. Don't forget what you promised. How could I? Dad, we want to be part of it. Forget it. End of discussion. It was good enough for you. I hate school. You only made it to the eighth grade, and look at you. Look at me. What do you say? You can hold your head high anywhere you go. That's respect. Respect or fear? Huh? You think I busted my ass all my life for you kids to be wasted? You will graduate from college with diplomas, with your heads held up high. Nothing to fear from no one. Dad, those feds always parked out on the road in the cheap cars. They went to college. Where'd it get them? Let me educate you about those guys out there with the broken down cars. They got the toughest mob in the world, and don't you ever forget that. And if I mess up, they will crush me like a cockroach. But as long as I know that, that's what keeps me stronger than them. This ain't the movies, boys. People die sometimes. And you will not be a part of it. Wondering who's going to nail you first. The best friend of the government. What kind of life is that? Come on. Listen. I've been waiting to tell you this. Paul Jr., Joe, I'm giving you blue ribbon meats. <laughs> That's right. Philip, I'm setting you up in Scaramix cement. All legit. You'll have part of nothing else. Understood? And my sons, I love yous. Come here. Thanks, Dad. How does it feel to be millionaires? You did it. You really did it. I promised you before we got married. I promised you on that rooftop, didn't I? Our kids will be clean. Thank you, Paulie. God bless you. Good night. So who vouched for her? Catherine's maid, Lucita, knows her sister, fresh from Colombia. No ties here. Make sure she knows my studies off limits. And to keep herself scarce when my guys are around. This wasn't my idea, Paul. Nina, you relax, go shopping, visit with Connie. 30 years, I never complained. Nina, go enjoy yourself. was dying not some old gangster named Gambino. <laughs> Neil Della Croce, Nino Gaggi, Muscle Loan Shark. Mm -hmm. Ah, Neil, big smile. 
Roy DeMaio and Tommy Agro. Hijacking extortion. De Bernardo, Mr. Pornography. And... Piney Armone, Castellanos Construction Union. We got them, they're all home. Welcome. Like sharks at a feeding frenzy. Yeah. Right. This is Castellano. I'm right here, Carlo. You and me, kid, we're still here. We're still here. All my life, I do any damn thing I want. It was God made me strong. Well, the priest wants me to say I'm sorry. To who? I ain't sorry. I loved every minute, every second. I... <clears throat> My God ain't gonna forgive and forget for a couple of Hail Marys. I'm scared, Polly. Scared? You? No, never. Maybe there ain't no God. I hate being scared. Hey, nobody gets out alive, Carlo. Right? Right. <laughs> hey. Hey, Paulie. Remember the uh, Christmas trees, eh? Yeah? Thinker. <laughs> you rest, Carl. I got you into this thing of ours, Polly. And now I'm, I'm gonna make it worse. I'm naming you Capo to the copy. What about Neil? He's a street. You got the brain, the vision. Neil already knows. Listen, Paul, I'm putting a curse on you, not no blessing. <coughs> now you learn what it is to be alone. Congratulations, Paul. So, Neil, after this, are you and your crew going to be all right with this? Yeah, it's the right thing. I ain't no godfather. I'm an old street dog. I'm going to change things. You're my younger boss, my right arm. Just uh, cut the young guys a little slack, OK? Don't push them too fast. Young crews, they may not understand the things that you want. Yeah, well, they better learn fast. These young kids today, they're so tempted. They got big balls, but their minds are weak. They want everything fast and easy. Sounds like a couple of kids we once know, huh? Yeah, but the world has changed, and we got to change with it. Well, it's in your hands now, Paul. Use me and my uh, crew. Gotti over there. Angelo. How do I take the wall to where I want to go, huh? You tell me. We started together. We'll see it through together.
Cubs are looking lean and hungry tonight. They're all wondering who you're going to pick for Miami. What's it going to be? Tonight, you'll see. Paul. Paul. There's somebody so bad wants to meet you. Oh, my God. Mr. Castellano. This is Brenda. She goes down with you. I'm a drama major, and uh, for me, you're just, you're the master of drama, you know? But real world, I saw The Godfather 16 times. Hey, I'm Paul. I was thinking maybe me and you could go somewhere. We could, you know, talk. Can I call you Paul? Is that okay? But... I got some business. Yeah, all right. Let's go. Right, so come right. on. Come on. Let's go. Hey, how you doing? Hey, the whole good. This guy's gonna keep these young girls away from me. Unless with a girl like that, he might as well put a bullet in your brain. <laughs> Just like that Samson and Delilah bitch. <laughs> she cut his balls. <laughs> his hair, Tommy, not his balls. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever, Piney. She took his strength. A beautiful woman will do that every time. You have a very beautiful woman. You see, there's a guy somewhere tired of banging her. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Look, spread the word. Keep those young girls away from me. I take it as a personal insult. Don't take any you don't want. <laughs> me? I wouldn't show no babes out of no bathtub. It's babies, and it's out with the bad water. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll, I'll bathe them, too. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Mr. Castellano. Yeah. Please, uh, join our group over here. You know, not right now, Joey, in a little while, but I want to talk to you about some business. Thank you. Says Pazzini, he gets Florida, huh? Look, Joey's a steady, he's a good earner. He's not violent or wild. I'll front him for a year and see what he does with the dog tracks and the books down there. The other guys will see what kind of guy gets rewarded. Maybe it'll help him calm down a little bit. All right? Come on. Salud. Come down. All right. Uh, uh, 200 mil. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Babies with the bad horse. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> oh, I love that theme song. It gives me a chance to say, what should I... We'll, we'll begin at the beginning by saying good morning. Welcome to the uh, Joe Franklin Show. I, I'd like to say welcome to the, uh, to the Johnny Carson Show or the Bill Donahue Show. Those names are ready. Slow this way? Now with a bullet? To send a message. Discourage any fools dumb enough to mess with you. It's good thinking. It's very good, Paul. Take him up. Watch. Learn. Dream. Sorry. Are you okay? I'm all right now. Here, sir. Hot chocolate. Good night. I'm sorry. What, what was your name again? Gloria. Gloria. Yeah, sit down. So. No, no, sir. Please, I, I'd like to get to know the people who work for me. Sit down. It's pretty good. Ginger and nutmeg for sleep. So, uh, Do you know who I am? Yes. You are the boss. <laughs> yeah, I'm the boss. Your English is pretty good. Yeah, in our school, the priest said English is the language of power of the nations that rule the world. Power, money? Is that why you came to America? No, sir. My own reasons. Do me a favor, drop this, sir, okay? 
I feel old enough as it is. Just uh, call me Paul. That is not proper, sir. Well, if I'm the boss, then I say what's proper, right? Excuse me. Gloria. Thanks for busting me out of that dream. In this life, it is the living we must fear, not dreams. Gloria, you're way too young to understand something like that. Good night, Paul. See, that wasn't so hard. Have good dreams. This is a great tribute. It honors me. <clears throat> you know, my cousin Don Carlo was a great man. And we'll miss him very much. But we must get on to the business at hand. I have a plan. To control all of New York City. To ensure all our friends have jobs. We will build construction fronts and bid our way to the top using our unions. We will own the New York skyline, all of it. We'll make a fortune, and the law won't be able to touch us. But to do this, we must keep a low profile. That's why I want your crews to devote their talents to money lending, numbers, the waterfront, car businesses, businesses that won't draw attention. And like always, no cop killing or civilians. And everybody, hear me on this one. No drug dealing under the penalty of death. You deal, you die. No exceptions. I know Carlo turned his head sometimes, but I won't. Any friend of ours gets caught dealing, no meeting, no appeal, you become a memory. No one could help you. From now on, our way will be the business way. And we'll rule longer than the Roman Empire. Presidents of unions come to us now. One day it'll be the President of the United States. What do you got? Well, level stuff mostly. Nothing that can get us to Big Paul. Well, here's something. We got a warrant to bug the Bergen Social Club. Oh, excellent. That's Della Croce's crew. Scotty will be the key to that. He's got a big mouth, likes to brag. So get on it. Yes, sir. What? That contract is still out on Agent Joe Pistone and his family. Donnie Brasco thing is never going to be over for them. Castellano has inherited that along with everything else. I think we ought to do something about it. Like what? Ask Big Paul to drop the contract? Yeah, maybe. Look, let's just do something that can be done. Get the bugs in place at the Bergen Social Club. We gotta connect Castellano to the street crews. Then we can get a warrant to bug his house. I want him. Find a way. You want to steal from us? Let me get a shot. Let me get a shot. Last play of the game. The snap. The kick. It's good. Oh, 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 what are you doing? What's up in the muff for you? I told you I wanted to talk to them first. How could I talk to them like this? Huh? You Irish have been warned before to stay out of our territories with your number stores. Please. Please, back, back! Who the hell are you talking to? <laughs> Mr. Castellano, let us make everything right. <laughs> you will make it right. There are no next times. And don't ever mistake kindness for weakness again, you hear me? <laughs> I want to talk to everybody right now. Then 
Did I say not to do anything till I gave the order? Hey, Paul, they've been warned before, okay? They gotta learn. Did I give the order? Hey, Paul, all due respect, but Neil said to make sure... I don't care what Neil said. I'm the boss of this family, not Neil. I don't want to say that again. Understand? Take a swim, why not? No, I, I was only looking. I don't know why I have it anyway. Nobody ever uses it. He's very beautiful. It must be nice to have such beautiful things. Well, money makes life comfortable, Gloria. It doesn't make you happy. I mean, look at the dreams I have, right? <laughs> I like the way you look at me. Like you could read my mind. Maybe I can. You swim anytime you want. Thank you. I never see nothing like it. 200 mil a year at least. It's a beautiful thing. I wish Carla would see this, huh? And how about Vita? What do you think Vita would think? He think, hey, not bad for some dumb Guinea Street kids. <laughs> <laughs> Your dream is working, Paisan. Just like you said it would. It's only the beginning. We're gonna bid into everything. I want us in every job site in Manhattan. Come on. Joe Pistone is my friend. A thief slid us. Boil on the ass. Back off, Tommy. Mr. Castellano, Agent O'Brien. This is Agent Kearns. So? Special Agent Joseph Pistone. Your crew knew him as Donnie Brasco. I understand there's a contract out on his head, 500K, and on his wife and children. I don't know this Donnie Brasco. No. Joseph Pistone. Joseph Pistone, not Donny Brasco. I'm here to advise you that should anything happen to Joseph Pistone or any of his family, they should be killed while crossing the street or, say, in a nuclear disaster. The full resources of the FBI and the Department of Justice will be brought to bear upon you and your associates. Have I made myself clear, Mr. Castellano? Most Fed suits don't have your balls. They're usually sneaking around parked cars like wimps with those long lenses. It's not an answer, sir, and I'm going to need an answer. Well, then I'll give you an answer. If you know anything about me, you would know that I would never approve of the situation that you described, and I would condemn it. But since we're being straight with each other, do me a favor. What would that be, sir? When you come with me, do it this way. Like men, like you are today. Don't ever frame me. Don't make something out of nothing. I've seen it, and it stinks of cowardice. Good day, gentlemen. Good day, Mr. Castellano. Lift up a stone contract. Oh, you ain't serious. Carlo is wrong. Lift it. Stone's a cop, his family civilians. End of story. And what about all those solid guys that bastard Pistone screwed? All the ones he put inside playing Donnie Brass. Neil's right, Paul. Lots of guys won't like it. What they like isn't my problem. We're not playing street games anymore. We're going all the way. The decisions I make, I make. Hey, you're right. Hey, hey, right. That's it. Hey, you're right. I'll drive. Let's go on espresso. Yeah. Oh, come here. Oh, 
Neil, it should have been you. Carlo picked the wrong guy. I lose on the streets, you know? The niggas, the spicks, the chinks, they're all moving in. Tell us what to do, Neil. I can't hear you. You didn't say none of that. What was he doing? No payback for Donnie Brasco, cutting back on a rackets. That's our life's blood. Construction truck. And what is this? What happened to our thing? I'll talk to him. Castellano's got no respect for our traditions. That's enough. Dead meat, Johnny boy. I love you like a son. But even I can't help you if you talk like that. Yeah, what I say. You know I'm right. I love you too, you know that. But I put my life in your hands. You can't talk like that, John. He's the boss. That's it. We give that to a judge, we get a warrant to Buck Castellano. Still gotta find some way into this house. Let's be resourceful. We're smarter than they are. Let's prove it. One more thing. Don't be grateful to Castellano for dropping the contract on Donnie Brasco. Relieved, not grateful. Don't kid yourself. Castellano's a stone cold killer. There are 3,000 more under him. No mercy. What's wrong you? Just tell me, why are you crying? Can I just cry? Here, sit down. Sit. Here. I want to know why. Tell me. You will think less of me. Gloria, whatever it is, I've heard and seen worse, believe me. Just say it. In my village, in south of Bogota, it was my time for communion. I was on my way home from market. He grabbed me. He used me like no woman should be used. But I wasn't a woman. I was a child. God, God was not there. God was hiding in the church. I woke up in the garbage dump where he left me. Now you know what I am. Violated. Gloria. We're all violated. All of us. What happened to you is in the past. You were forced. It wasn't your fault. But I am dead. Inside, I am dead. I felt that way too. Why you? I get lonely sometimes. And sometimes I feel Sometimes I feel old, but I like talking to you. You make me think of another time when I was younger. You had the eyes of a boy.
I don't mean to interrupt your shopping. I just wanted to have a word with you if I could. I'm uh, Agent O'Brien, and this is my partner, Agent Kearns. We were the Manhattan field office of the FBI. Your family in Bogota is doing well. Your little sister, Lucita, had a cold, but she's over there now. You talk to my family? Why? Maybe they'd like to come up and visit for a while. How would you like that? Would that be something we could talk about? I just wanted to offer... Move! Move! Get out of my way! Easy. You know, I left my country because of bastards like you. Fascistas, this is America. <laughs> they really yelled at him? <laughs> yeah, it was so beautiful. <laughs> she left those thieves holding their salamis. Most chicks would have freaked, you know? You had to see her, Paul. But, um, what a spitfire. <laughs> you know, the thieves are looking for any way in. For them to come after the maid, they must be desperate. Fine. You won't like this, Paul. Please, no more headaches. Spazzini, worse than an embarrassment. Not only is he ignoring the vig on the loan, he used our money to front coke and smack deals. This better not be a rumor. Paul, would I bring it to your table if it wasn't confirmed? I mean, it makes me want to puke where it is all over South Florida. I give him Miami and he spits in my face. The worst is everybody south of Fort Lauderdale knows about it and now they will up here. I mean, it, his drug thing's too big, there's too much money in it. You know what the law was. He's got to die. Let me have his ass, Paul. Not you. Senagro. Tell him to make a statement, but no mess. Make him a memory. Bring the caddy around here. I hate walking. My shirt soaked with sweater and this humidity sucks. I'll crank up the AC. Sometime this decade, maybe, huh? Whoa, move your jelly ass! That ain't Pizzini. That's his car. Zini's car. Let him sweat for a few hours and we'll be there. You guys are the best, thanks. Okay, we should just make that last flight. 10 years, I'm a good earner. I get behind and sure, I deal the powder. For that, they send that animal agro. We're all you got, Joey. Oh, that makes me feel a lot better. Look. You testify that you fronted these operations in Florida for the Gambino crime family. And that you were blessed by Paul Castellano. Well, we go back to New York. You guys can have him. We don't want him unless he makes our case. Do we? I'm dead. Can't win for losing. Testify? Why not? I just don't give a damn no more. Smartest thing you ever did, Joey. The Zini name's Castellano. 
and you guys subpoena Big Pauly as a witness. Well, we got enough on Bazzini for an indictment now. Yeah, yeah, I know. But we don't care about him. He's all yours. We just need Big Pauly down here. Down here for what? So we can deny ever hearing of the guy? No, down here to get him and Bellotti the hell out of the house. Perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> to testify, that's all. We got the best lawyer's money can buy. It's not like they indicted you, Paul. Agro's a maniac. And that the mayor is just as bad. Everything we work for can get flushed right down the toilet. The legit building permits, the bids, even the unions will turn their back if this thing gets out of hand. Bazzini's all they got, Paul. Sure, they busted aggro, but I don't think he'll roll. Cowboys. They don't listen. Can't work clean. It's got to stop. All right, Piney. We have to send a message to Bazzini's family. Whack out his wife? Are you crazy? You know, sometimes you talk through your ass because your mouth knows better. What's wrong with you? You put 50K in Bazzini's account. He'll know what it means. That we can be nice, good move. Then aggro. Use our Florida contacts inside the jail down there. You help Tommy remember who we reward and who we punish. And at the same time I'm in Florida testifying, we start cleaning up the loose cannons. Who you got in mind? Oh, you know who they are. For starters, that maniac de Mayo. He loves killing too much. And Sacco, always with the drugs, he's next. Clean house, huh? That's right, clean house. Consider it done, Paul, and clean. Let's make the time productive while I'm away. And while I'm down there, they're the ones that say, and I have to go, right? Then they can't blame me for anything that happens while I'm away. That's very smart, Paul. <laughs> Vacation be nice? Yeah. Why not? I just want to be with you. What is wrong? Your wife. If two people feel this way, how could it be wrong? I don't know. How do you feel about me? You have given me a better life. That's all? And the money I make, I send to my parents. It has made their life better. So is that what this is about? You care about me because of your job? No, no, that, that's not... You know what, forget it. Said. No, really, forget it. No, I'm... no, Paul. I can't see how I feel. We are in this house, and you are married. You are my boss. Can't you see? I, I can't tell you what's in my heart. Well, then you forget that I'm your boss. Forget that you work for me. Forget every bad thing that ever happened to you, because I can make it better. I can make all the bad stuff go away, Gloria. Just look at me as a man who cares about you. All I want to hear is how you feel about me. Just tell me. Tell me. How do you feel about me? You completely lost your mind. I don't want to discuss it. Taking that girl to Florida, what will people think? Have you no respect? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh, I forgot. You're the boss now. Nina. 
Where's my gold cufflinks, Nina? That's the maid to find them. Serving all your life. It's time somebody served you. Here you go. Thank you, sir. I got I can't believe I'm here. Well, believe it, because you are here, and you're here with me. Thank you, Paul. For what? Everything. For showing me the beauty in life. After dinner, I want to see your new outfits. We would go places. Going places, doing things, whenever I'm not in court. Will it be okay? It's gonna be fine. You trust me. It's gonna be okay. Three minutes in and out. Jack. Do it. Everyone looks happy for you. They testify they lost their witness. Nothing came of it. 
for sending me champagne to celebrate. Are they powerful men? Yes. As powerful as you. That you don't need to know. I know they are not. Hard faces, hard eyes. What is my face like then? You have the face of a thinker. A man of deep feeling. Maybe too deep. You see all that? Nice time. Hey, Nino, everything all right? I'm good. Tommy. Give me a hand here. It's gonna be okay. This is my home. Not a whorehouse. Just take my clothes and go live with Connie. Nina, this is your home. It's not right. I don't want you to go. You want too much. You can't have it all, Paul. I still have my dignity. It's one thing you can't take away from me. Christ's sake, she looked terrible. Are you all right? Oh, forget about it. <laughs> Nothing tastes right anymore. Bad kidneys, lazy pump. <laughs> Doctor says I gotta go in for some more tests. But what do they know, right? <laughs> but hey, don't worry. Johnny Boy here has been running their crew while I've been in the hospital. I'm worried about you, Neil. I'll be fine. I'd just like you to give John here your blessings. So, John, you ready for a step up? It'd be a great honor. I'll do whatever it takes to prove my loyalty. With your supervision, of course. A kid here. No better earner. Not that I can remember. Promise me you'll give him your support. Of course. John, I have some business to discuss with Neil. Yeah, hey, sure. I think we got a problem. All these clips while you're away, lifting the Donnie Brasco contract, the feds all over us. The guys, they're getting nervous. Yeah, well, I'm getting nervous too, Neil. You see, Piney's been hearing things on the street, and I don't like it. What things? Some of your people might be dealing. What? That, <laughs> that's wrong, Paul. You know I would never stand for nothing like that. I mean, who is it? Tell me, who? Angelo Ruggiero and Gene Gotti. That's the rumor. I can't believe that. How could I not know? Well, I can't believe that your boy John doesn't know either. I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. You know what the rule is. So what do you want me to do, whack them all out? 
I mean, you don't even know for sure. And you want me to clip a guy who's like a son to me? Neil, the rule is you deal, you die. Oh, rules, rules. What rules, Paul? These are gangsters. Tough guys. Come on. Come on Things like this sometimes happen. You're trying to turn this thing of ours into AT&T, and it's not. We are what we are, Paul. You got to understand that. It's all confusing to them, all this uh, white collar stuff. You know, unions, uh, cement contracts, uh, constructions. I don't even understand it. It's when guys start thinking of themselves. That's when this thing of ours will be destroyed. They're greedy from drugs. Well, so can you blame them? Yes, I can blame them. Because it's better to make 200 million with no risk than 500 million with the feds up my ass. Can't you see that? Doesn't anybody see that? Am I the only one? And don't tell me about tough guys, Neil. Because as soon as these tough guys today get caught and they're facing hard time, they seem better than Pavarotti. And our time... We oh, our pass. time! Our time is gone, Paul! <sighs> Look, uh, I've been loyal to you all my life, Paul. When you were made godfather, I was happy for you. Carlo knew you had the vision. Just give everybody else a chance to catch up to you, Paul. That's all I'm saying. I'll try. Look, I'm uh, sorry if I uh, got upset and everything. Forget it. I'll look into this thing with my crew and all, but uh, I think we should call a meeting of all the heads of the families. And Try to straighten all this out, huh? I appreciate your advice, Neil, but um, a meeting now will... It's too dangerous. I think it's the right move. I'll think about it. Promise me you won't move on John unless you know for sure. You have my word. thing with my crew and all this is it i think we should call a meeting of all the heads of the families and try to straighten all this out huh we're close you hear that all the heads of the families with big paul presiding man it could be bigger than appalachian if it's gonna happen it better be soon our warrants are running out maybe if we backed off a little they'd feel secure enough to call a meeting we get lucky i don't believe the luck we close in tighter sooner or later big paulie's gonna have to call a meeting then we own them all we have the biggest Rico in history. Six in the morning. What's so important? This better be good. Indictments, but not against us, filed last night in Nassau County Fed District Court. Angelo Ruggiero and Gene Gotti. Both arrested there in MCC, conspiracy to traffic in narcotics. Our lawyers say the Fed's got it all on tape from phone taps. Say, Neil, it's all Gotti. Gene, his brother, and Ruggiero, his street dog. Neil's in the hospital dying and all this. They didn't arrest Gotti. No evidence against him personally, they said. Paul, don't take this personally. This is happening in all the families, not just ours. Neil was right. Neil was right. All right, listen, I'm going to call the mission meeting tomorrow. I want all the heads of the families there. Mission? But Paul, the Phoebes, they'll be watching us like hawks. Am I the boss? Am I head of this commission or what, huh? Greedy kids that crap it on the richest feast in history. Where am I going to recruit guys? You tell me. Harvard, Yale. I wish I could. I'm stuck trying to make morons into legitimate people. Tommy, find the place. Not some hotel or restaurant. We got some crash yeah, houses right around the island. Near Karen and Oberlin. Good. Karen and Oberlin. Some dumb. Tell them we guarantee security. Karen and Oberlin. Here somewhere. Other end of the island. Let's see. Go ahead, go. Yeah. Okay, here comes Tommy. Okay, we don't tail him, we know where he's going. Okay, what about the van? We change, we change it. Let's go. This thing can come together fast. Here. 
Here we are, Cameron and Oberlin. All right, keep your eyes open. We have something. There's Tommy's car. Let's go up around the corner. Now we do what we do best. Join the FBI, visit amazing places, meet exotic people. <laughs> you know it's weird? What? We're gonna get it. And I know it's all gonna be over. Easy, Joe, don't start feeling sorry for him. <laughs> he's one of the bad guys. But he's not the worst. Listen, get some class. Stop something. Hmm. What about the guy who's going to take his place? We'll get him, too. Tony Salerno, okay. boss of the Genovese family. Got him. <sighs> Who's up here? Bingo, this is the jackpot. Look at this, look at this. Tony Dux Corallo, boss of the Lucchese family. Mind the snake Persico and boss Jerry Langella for the Columbos. This is happening. This is happening, Andy. It's amazing. It's like wild animals in Africa. My oh my. R I C O Racketeer Influenced Corrupt Organizations Act. They just show up at the same place and boom, gotcha. Criminal conspiracy. We'll get them all. Bingo. We all love our families. And we're building a great empire. And yet in each of our families, there's these young guys, impatient and greedy, who deal on the side behind our backs, and some of us know it. This cannot go on. These guys got to be punished. Drugs will destroy this thing of ours, believe me. It'll take away all our white-collar business that's drowning us in money. Listen, the construction money is out of this world. You was right all the way. That's true. Now, these young Turks, they sneak around, you know? Right. And some of us look the other way because the money's so good. With all due respect, Paul, it's your family with the newest drug indictments. You're right. And when I leave here today, You'll see what it means when I say you deal, you die. I expect no less from all of you. The time has come to get rid of the renegades in this family. You guys know the law. I'm responsible for my crew's actions. Hey, John, not for nothing. But you knew what we were doing, all right? Don't you say that. I didn't know nothing. Yes, you did. Uh, you knew. Let him go, you Johnny. Knew. Let him go. You knew, John. You knew what we were doing, John. I never you asked knew. you were doing. You knew. And the reason you stayed in is because the money was good, right, John? Okay, that's not important that's anymore. Shut up! Daddy. You shut up! Daddy. Johnny, what are we gonna do? Huh? How are we gonna fix this thing? Neil's dying. And once he goes, Big Paul's gonna come down, he's gonna whack us all out. But then meet all of us.
What are we going to do? Constantino Paul Castellano on federal indictment class A under the RICO conspiracy law. I have a warrant for your arrest. RICO? Racketeer and I know what it is. Paul? Viney called me. It's all right. Come here. What? What is it? What's, what's going on? Listen, I just have to go with these guys. It's going to be all right, okay? It's going to be okay. Viney, you take it to Connie's. It's all right. It's nothing. Yeah, sure. It's nothing. Okay? Yeah. I'll go with you, Paulie. No, no. You stay there. Oh, my God. Paulie. my own home you shame me just doing our jobs mr castellano calling it a job makes it right let's not talk about what's right sir normally we would have cuffed you yeah look the media vultures come to feed gang's over here Taking me through that circus? Well, let's go to the service bay in the back. Well, I thought they took your hearts out when you graduated the FBI Academy. Donnie Brasco. No idea what you mean. We heard the tapes. You in the kitchen with Neil. I know you called off the contract. Tapes? What tapes? You bugged my home? You bugged my house? Huh? You bugged my house, my home where I live, with my family? I don't believe that. Come on. That's too long. We've been for you guys. Bug my home, a place of business, fine, a social club, but you don't bug a man's home. I don't believe this. What else you listen to? Me and Glory in the bedroom? You whack off and you giggle? We try not to listen to personal stuff. It's not right to bug a man's home. It's not right. Mr. Castellano, I've got to admit, I've waited a long time for this. You've been arrested on the charge of conspiracy under the RICO Act, as have several of your colleagues. You could spend the rest of your natural life in prison. Is there anything you'd like to say to us now before formal charges are presented? Don't I get a trial first? Of course. Just like any other citizen of this country. Look, I'm from Brooklyn. I was born poor. I'm not saying that being poor means you didn't have to live by the rules. I hate that crybaby stuff. I made my own choices. There are certain promises that a man makes that carry more weight than a hundred Bibles full of law. And you live by those promises. And if you don't, you should be dead anyway. So I got nothing to say. So do what you gotta do. Oh, we will, Mr. Castellano. Mr. Castellano's attorneys have made bail. Three million dollars. We'll see you in court. Okay. You know, you guys are worse than we ever were. 
We didn't do this to you, Mr. Castellano. You did. I want to sit down with that greedy bastard Gotti. All that is triggered by him. Why meet? If he knows Crow was dealing, he blessed that. He knew about it, he goes. End the story. I promise Neil, you know that. But Paul, listen, man. I promise to a dying friend. If that isn't sacred, then what is? Okay, we'll arrange a meet through the chief. Plenty of security. Someplace uptown Manhattan, an upscale restaurant. Spock Steakhouse. Set it up. Look at that bridge, huh? It's beautiful. Looks the same as always. You got no eyes, Tommy. That bridge has been here a hundred years. You see a piney? Yeah, bridge by any other name. Bunch of iron bolted together. Tommy, pull over on the side of the road. We still got to work out the details of the meat, Paul. Look, there's plenty of time for that, all right? Just, Tommy, just pull over on the side. My uncle worked on this bridge. He riveted his name up high in the steel. I asked him, I said, who's going to see it? He said, nobody. God sees it. I see you. Not a bridge. It's about this thing, Gloria. About leaving some reminder. You lived, you were there, you tried. You talk like a man already dead. Next days and weeks on the side, that Gloria. with me. We can go to Florida or to Colombia. We can go to my country. You sure you never go back there? You would do that for me? Yes. Anything. And what would I do then? It doesn't matter. We would be together. I can't. What about us? A man and a woman loving together. We could do it. As much as I want to, I can, Gloria. This is my life. This is where I took my stand for my family. Don't make me choose. But you choose. You choose me. Be a man. A man with all, all those animals waiting for you, watching you. Love me. Be with me. People are counting on me, Gloria. Their lives depend on what I do. That police ticket ain't good for nothing. Tommy, come on, you could have been told. <laughs> Relax, it's Christmas time. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Father, 
so many. From the misery of others, Father, I've made millions of dollars. They call me the boss of bosses. And yet you could not pass your own heart. Oh, Polly, brightest of all my children, Satan seduced you, and I was too weak to stop it. Are you remorseful? I have dreams. Very bad dreams. For your sins, my son. Make an act of contrition. I wish it was that easy, Father. Say a prayer and make it all go away. In nomine Patri, et Fidelus, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen.